ちはキャセイパシフィックバンクよりご案内いたしますただいまよりキャセイパシフィックバンク CX549 便の搭乗手続きを開始いたしますご利用予定のお客様は出発会、参加、注意本段までお進みください本日もワンバルドメンバーキャセイパシフィックバンクをご利用いただきまして誠にありがとうございます Hello from Tokyo. Today I'm flying from Haneda to Hong Kong on Cafe Pacific's business class. Haneda is one of the main hubs of the two Japanese carriers, Japan Airlines and ANA. Both airlines have a fleet of Boeing 787s. Which airline do you like more? Leave a comment and tell me. Japan Airlines is a member of the One World Alliance. And therefore, I could visit the Sakura Lounge operated by JAL with my Marco Polo Club status. The lounge was separated into two main parts the first class lounge and the business class lounge. <coughs> Stepping into the first class lounge, there was a long corridor leading me to the dining area. Unlike cafes, o w n the Pier First Class Lounge at the Hong Kong International Airport. There wasn't an a la carte dining restaurant where you can have fine dining. Instead, only a buffet was available. Other than some international snacks and dishes, there was also some Japanese food. Soup wudon was served, and we could add whatever toppings we liked into it. Two types of sushi were also there for guests. My plane, BKPL, just arrived from Hong Kong at CX548. The Boeing 777-300ER used to be painted with the One World livery, but was now replaced by the new livery introduced in 2015. After dining, I went for a shower. By pushing the bell at the shower room desk, a reception staff came from the lounge entrance and unlocked a shower room for me. The shower room was equipped with some basic amenities, such as a toothpick, a toothbrush, and a comb. The size of the room was not big, but it was good enough for a short shower. Arriving at gate 144, the extended range aircraft was already waiting for her passengers. Time really flies. The new livery was introduced over three years ago. I need to treasure my opportunities to board an aircraft with the old livery. The boarding area was already filled with passengers when I arrived and boarding had begun. The business class queue merged with the first class queue as the economy class passengers began to board. Persa at the door pointed me to my seat. My seat, 12A, was located to the left of door 2, with a total of two rows of business class seats. Welcome drinks and hot towels were available shortly after boarding. There was a choice of champagne, orange juice, and water. I got a glass of water. The business class cabin was divided into two sections, separated by the galley next to door 2. The mood lightings helped the 1 2 1 configured cabin look modern and refreshing. 
Each passenger enjoys a high degree of privacy and a beautiful view from the two windows. The seemingly endless aisle ran down to the main business class cabin for a total of 45 seats. It is notable also that the economy class cabin of this aircraft had already been reconfigured to a free for free configuration. All the TV systems were refreshed to the same system as the one on Cathay's latest Airbus 350 aircrafts. According to my previous experiences, the system worked really well on the A350s. However, with only the system refreshed but not the touchscreen television, the system ran quite slow and wasn't that responsive. You will know how this feels by imagining yourself using iOS 12 on an iPhone 5. But something positive was that Cafe finally realized the importance of being connected on board, and they have installed Wi-Fi on this aircraft. It cost twelve ninety-five U.S. dollars for the service on this four-hour flight. Although it took some time for it to load, I was still able to watch my videos with the in-flight Wi-Fi. It was a trip to Taipei with my family. The menu was distributed after the seatbelt sign was turned off. I also asked for a UNICEF donation envelope. This envelope is for passengers who wish to donate spare coins or bills to help children in need. Hope you can also donate next time when you are traveling with Cathay. Dinner service was provided on this flight. It began with a drink service. A glass of Perrier and a glass of Cafe Delight were served to me together with a small bowl of nuts. For the starter, there were three dishes. The one on the top left-hand corner was a mixed salad with tomatoes, and next to it was a Japanese plum perilla noodle served with the noodle sauce and seaweed. Right in the middle was the grilled scallop with prawn and octopus slices. There were three choices for the main course: lingfish and shrimp with choy sum and steamed jasmine rice, grilled Australian prime beef tenderloin with mashed potatoes, and baked yuzu and pepper chicken with Japanese steamed rice. I had the Japanese style chicken choice. The chicken was of a very smooth texture and was extremely delicious. Finishing the meal was the fresh fruit selection of melon, pineapple, dragon fruit, and strawberry, and various cheeses. Ice cream was also served, and I also ordered a cup of Japanese tea to accompany the dessert. Lights were dimmed after the meal service, and I spent the rest of my time watching movies. One of the main reasons for Cafe to update the TV system was to allow passengers to fast forward the movie conveniently. However, the TV was not responsive at all, and I couldn't skip the advertisements with the trackball. It was two hours before arrival when I decided to visit the economy class cabin. As mentioned, the economy class cabin on this aircraft has been reconfigured to a free for free layout. Sadly, the lights were off, and I wasn't able to have a clearer look on the seats. Have you ever tried these cramped seats? Tell me whether you like them or not. The flight log was returned by a crew member mid-flight. The flight was quite full, with all seats in the premium cabins occupied. To summarize the flight, I loved it. Being a fan of Japanese food, the catering service was great. Thinking about the scrumptious appetizer and the delicious main course still makes my mouth water. The only not so good part of the flight was the updated TV system installed on outdated hardware. As for the lounge, it was not too impressive, though it was spacious. That's all for today. Like, share, and subscribe, and watch One Word Flyers video too. See you.